In this video, we are growing American Seed Company Mixed Bell Peppers from the Dollar Tree that came with two delightful surprises. We will cover pruning, harvesting, seed saving, and pepper food prep for winter. We will wrap up the video with a few pepper dishes. But first, just got done planting those grand bell pepper mix and this is what I started them in in the greenhouse where these little egg cartons you just pull them apart and you've got about twice as much of the circumference of this egg carton and you really just scoot it over try to pack it in there lightly and I'm just gonna water the rest of them all right guys it is july 3rd i am out here looking at these mixed bell pepper got some cucumber growing up the fence finally those marigolds are rocking Ooh, and you can tell where i prune these and we have bushed these out eventually all of these are gonna look like this which i believe is the first one that i pruned Okay, so it is July 5th, and to prune any kind of peppers, you want to count up three sets of leaves. So here I've got one, two, and here I've got three. And I'm going to cut right here, but instead of going straight across, I want to go at an angle. I want 90 degrees because I do not want any rain or any water when I have watered to sit on top of this stem and to actually rot it out. You can also see that we're starting to get a little bit of a pepper here. So that's another telltale sign of immediately under there. You can go ahead and trim that. So I'm just going to take my scissors and instead of going straight across, I'm gonna go at an angle now. Okay, that's it. All right, there's a great example there. You see it's at a 90 degree angle. Guys, it is July 20th and look how fantastic these peppers are doing back here. You can see lots of little blooms, little white flowers in here. Actually pretty open ones. Gorgeous. See these ones that I have in the pot, they dry out quicker because they're in a container. And I am going to come out and water these containers. If the containers are dry, doesn't mean you have to water what's also in the ground. You need to get down here and actually see, and that does look dry to me. So that's what I'm going to do. And apparently, I got to let little Miss Simone out because she's scratching to get out of the house. Pepper development. mess too much with them because I don't want to knock any of the blooms off. Next to a nice big marigold. This is the tallest one here on the property. And also next to this cucumber. See all the little cucumbers I'll be having over here. Let me show you on the other side real quick. Excellent, isn't it? So that is a lot of stuff and a really small amount of space. I do need to trim up these three marigold stalks here that have toppled over due to rain because it is on another one of my peppers down here. I can eat the peppers uh, and I not really need to eat the marigolds. We'll bring in a little bit more air circulation down there, which I need for all of these great cucumbers growing next door and if you can see mind the hose i don't really need any more miracles. july 
July 31st. We are out here looking at this grand bell pepper mix by American Seed. Cost me a quarter. That looks like a great assortment. And I did come out here yesterday and I pruned up the bottom leaves. They really don't need it. You really don't have to prune, but for the sake of airflow and pushing that energy up into the actual bloom and not in these leaves and also much like a tomato i wanted to get some of those leaves off of the soil so we don't have any disease going up the plant look at how beautiful that bloom is there guys they really don't mind being crowded but that's all the trimming that i'm gonna do for the year so we're starting to get some weight on these peppers here these are not going to be bell peppers, even though it says bell pepper mix, sweet bell pepper mix. These definitely look like banana. Look at that. Excellent. Oh, hey guys, check that out. It's the second time I've seen a praying mantis this year. Be careful in here. It's just turning red for us. I have no idea what kind of pepper this is, you guys. So if you know, please give me a comment below as to what this is. September 3rd, let's pick a few of these gorgeous banana peppers. And they come right off. This one looks great. This one's also starting to turn a little pinkish color. Trying not to um, mess with those praying mantis. There's one more. Guys, I'm just going to keep on going. September 9th, and these are finally starting to turn a color for me. It is September 11th today, and I just picked this one. It was potted down there that I moved, and it does have this nasty little spot I'm going to cut around. I also want to grab this orange banana pepper over here. See this one down here? Gorgeous. I want to know if this is hot or not. Since these were supposed to be a sweet bell pepper mix. Now I'm going to grab some of these. In my head, I'm calling them cherry bombs. I don't know. Ooh, that came off so nice. Let me see if this one will come off just as nice. Yep. Excellent. Okay, let me try this one down here. Yep. These are getting a little bit more orange, but this should be enough. And I want to see if these are hot or sweet too. Seed saving for peppers are very easy. Open this up and your seed is going to be right here where the top is. And you're just going to come in here and flake these off, put them into a dish. And you're gonna let that dry out. Okay, here's our little cherry bomb. We've got this one all carved out. Here is the ball, the little seed ball. You can see it's gonna flake out quite nicely for us. I've already cleaned out one of them. It's come right off. So easy. Doing this one-handed. Okay, when you're done with it, then just plop it in your compost area. Yeah, you, this, I just cut it so you can see what it looks like in the beginning. And this is a total and complete whole one here. These cherry bombs are sweet. If anyone knows the exact name of this, let me know in the comments below. Look at how perfect these stand up. These would be fantastic little stuffer or d'oeuvre peppers. All right, now we're looking at the orange banana pepper. And this cavity I've already cleaned out. I've already got the membrane out of it up here and I saved the seeds that were in the bottom and I'm just going to again just take my thumb sometimes you can just take your knife I mean you know this is gonna work better if you have two hands they come out so easy I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna cut this membrane out all right now we're looking at the yellow banana pepper which is not as hot if you let it go and it becomes orange, it becomes hotter. If you let it go to red, it's the hottest point. 
Um, they do have a tendency to kind of over ripen and get a little mushy when you let them become red. So if you kind of want this medium firm, but have some heat, and I just mean a little heat, not like super hot, orange is a really good color for you to pick these at. Guys, now I'm over here in my seed saving area. I've got all of my tomatoes. And here are my three different peppers that I got from this one packet. And I felt like I had to differentiate it because usually I will just put the seed packet in with my bowl of flowers or whatever I happen to be growing. If I just had one kind of pepper, I would have done the same thing. But I have marked them, so this one I'm calling Cherry Bomb. This is the regular bell pepper. All right, here we go. We've cut all of the placental tissue away, and I did leave the tops. You can see some of the beginning membrane where the actual seeds were attached. But look at how gorgeous this is. I have left the placental tissue in here, so you know that's what I'm talking about. But a lot of the times that gets grouped in with the actual membrane. Okay, so I've already tasted these. The little cherry bomb uh, didn't hold up well, and I put it in whole. Um, yeah, you can taste the sweetness even when it's cooked. This orange one, oh my God, that's even hotter when I cooked it. The bell pepper tastes just like a bell pepper. It had some good thick walls, some chunkiness, some staying power to it. Just tastes like a good bell pepper. Mm. I'm really wanting a fried egg and some sausage now. All right, here we go, guys. I got some of those cherry bombs, some of those banana peppers, the yellow ones, onions. Mm, look at that sausage, fried egg on top of cheese grits. Oh, delicious. Uh, yeah, there's no way I was going to put one of the orange banana peppers in there. I'm going to reserve that for chili. All right, it is September 12th, and I can see this one is starting to get some cracking. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a bunch of these. September 14th, I'm going to pick a few more of these banana peppers before they get too hot. There's a nice little one. And I'm trying not to grab any praying mantis. Okay, here's one growing upside down. on the verge of turning orange. So nice. I'm gonna grab this one too. This one looks like it's on the edge. Alright, that's enough for the two. Alright, so I've already cut them up and I can cut the tops off. There will be three little membranes and if you can see it lines up with these pinkish red stripes. Just lightly cut that with your knife, dig that membrane out, this basically out of your pepper, put it in the compost. And now what I need to do instead of getting every single one of these seeds out by hand is I'm just gonna put this thing in my salad spinner. And I'm going to give it a wash three, four times until it's done. I'm gonna let it dry out. When it's dried out, then I'm going to sit it on top of my cookie sheet with parchment paper on here. All right, so they are all done, all cleaned up. I'm letting them dry. Here are some of the seeds still in the water. You guys, this is a lot of little steps, and it's a lot of little steps when these are tiny, almost bite size. I would have never intentionally bought these little tiny ones because it is a lot of prep to get a little tiny bite. So when these are done drying, I'm then gonna transfer them on to my parchment paper cookie sheet, and I'm gonna put them in the freezer. September 20th, I'm gonna go ahead and process these. You can see some of them are a little bit greenish. I do have some yellow ones, and the orange ones are still out there. I'm gonna see if I can get a little heat out of them. Okay, everything is frozen up again. 
Just gonna add these two to my other bag of the red ones. And all of these are frozen for my pizzas this winter. Gonna add it to that bag and we're good. 24th of September, you can see this one's starting to change color to red. And this one over here is starting to give a little bit of color change too. However, I'm gonna go ahead and pick these and process these because I also have some Jimmy Nardellos I can process and freeze at the same time. So I might as well just really work that cookie sheet. And they're both sweet, so no problem there. And like when we get down here, this is getting a really terracotta looking color to it. And remember those terracotta banana peppers? They are now a gorgeous bright red. Can't wait to put that into some chili. You can see that the pepper has broken off down there. The stem of the pepper is broken. Guys, it's, it's just time to harvest these peppers now. It is October 10th. We're in zone 5 and can you see that? Oh my goodness. It's finally warm enough and not windy enough. I'm going to harvest all of these. Look at this one here. Beautiful red. Oh, snapped off nice. Look at that. That is a big mamma jamma right there. Excellent. Okay, here's my bowl. That's a pretty good amount in that bowl already. Here's another gorgeous red one. <laughs> Just took the whole thing off. Here's another big red one. So far, I haven't seen any purple ones that were reflected on that seed packet. Here we go. There's another great big red one. Excellent. God, these are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at that four almost covering that bowl already. There's a littler one. You'd think with this one being over here, having more sun, this would have developed a little. Oh, looks like it's longer though. All right, that's cool. I'm gonna grab these green ones. You know, I'm taking everything. It doesn't matter about the size. Oh, that one slipped right off. Look at that. So what do we got now? Six or seven there. To grab this one. This is the one where the stem was broken. I was pointing that out to you earlier. Right, here's some red hot banana peppers. Remember, yellow is mild. Orange is medium. And red is definitely hot. I'm grabbing everything of the time frame that we're in here. Okay, so I've got two right here. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god, guys. A quarter. This little quarter will do for you. It's giving me all of these nice big bell peppers. And then remember I had those two surprises of these banana peppers and the little cherry bomb thingies. All right, that's what I got so far. I've got these over here in this container along with this lettuce. Look at how gorgeous. This lettuce is turning out to be, you guys. And obviously, this could handle cooler weather. But I need to get these peppers out of here. Oh, okay, that's that one's interesting. So, orange. 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 And that is it. So, this I can put behind the house and store that. Guys, I'm just going to clean this up. And we'll go back in the house and I'll let you see everything all laid out with the final count. All right, you guys, here is the harvest. There are 
13 bell peppers. And I've got a little bit more of these banana peppers down here. Definitely gonna take the red and the orange and I'm just gonna hollow them out and freeze them like I did with these few others. And I'll probably, again, take some of the milder ones and cut them like that for pizza. I can't wait to try this. I didn't get any more of these, but I've got ideas. Oh, you guys, this was a really good haul for that tiny little amount of space. So let's look at what this has to say now. A unique blend of crisp, sweet bell peppers in a rainbow of colors. Fruits ripen to shades of red, yellow, orange, white, purple, and chocolate. Plants produce high yields, plenty of peppers for turning any salad or dish into striking colorful statements. And yeah, our seeds took quite a bit of time. I'm really impatient when it comes to peppers and eggplants, so 10 to 12 days. A fourth inch depth, spacing about a half inch and row spacing 24 inch days to harvest 65 to 85. So you guys, we got quite a bit of red and quite a bit of green. I did not see any purple, any white, any yellow. I mean, I guess maybe this was on its way to chocolate. Not exactly sure because we do have some very variegation in our colors. This one, this one is substantial here. This is quite a meaty, thick, just a huge pepper. All right guys, so to put it in a different perspective, this is a big old bowl of peppers. The weight on this thing is crazy for a quarter. Love it. With two surprises, love it. Look at this one. This looks like somebody cut this out and then put it back in. Look at that. It's so thick. I mean, and it's hard. Ah, oh. For a quarter, you guys, a flipping order i don't know how you go wrong see looking at it from the side it looks like there's a lift off like somebody just took this out and then reinserted it you guys look at how fantastic these peppers are cut up these are three of the smallest ones okay so i decided to take my last remaining red pepper and make this chicken cheese nacho dip I just have to add these two items to my mix. I'm gonna go ahead and take the tops and I'm gonna freeze that up for something else. All right, guys, here we go. Look at this lovely little red pepper pot. Kate Michigan game? Probably. It is delicious. This is just the buffalo chicken ranch dip that a lot of people make for the Super Bowl. You can totally find this online. It's delicious, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy. It is November 9th today, and I'm going to use up some of that cut up peppers that we grew, along with my zucchini from not this season, but the previous season. You can see it's gotten a little bit um, ice crystally in there, along with some other stuff. I'm gonna make some chili because I need some room for that Thanksgiving turkey. All right, this chili looks fantastic. It's big, it's chunky. However, I didn't have enough cans of tomatoes. So it is really thick. I did not season it intentionally because we are going to use those banana peppers that we grew. And remember, as they go from yellow to orange to red, they get hotter. So I am gonna fish out probably just the red and the orange. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put it in my Nutribullet. 
I'm going to add more water than I usually would because this is so thick, I need to spread it out. I like a little bit more juice because I like some crackers and cheese and my chili. Uh, also, I did not add any um, chili powder, nothing. The peppers that we added before were sweet. I didn't even add any diced jalapenos because I already knew I had some of these in here that I wanted to go ahead and juice up. The heat smell that is in here is pretty uh, fierce. However, this is a little amount yeah. and quite a huge, huge pot of chili work in here. I found this pan at a rummage sale. Oh my God. All right, so that loosened it up. It added a little bit more heat, but I'm not satisfied with that amount of heat. I went ahead, I emptied the bag. I'm gonna use them all. All right, here is the rest of it. Definitely a lighter color, almost like cantaloupe juice. Well, it's time to eat. I can thoroughly smell the heat of the pepper in here. It's significantly loosened up, definitely spicened up. And I gotta tell you, for the bang for the buck that we got here, it was minimal effort on me just cutting off the caps and flicking out the seeds and freezing them. It was like nothing. Look at how fantastic everything looks here. A little sour cream, cheese, some garlic and onion chives from the herb patch and oyster crackers. I think I'll be enjoying this now. Thank you so much for watching and I invite you again to subscribe as I have been gardening for over 40 years and have a lot to teach, show, grow, review, experiment with, and my favorite, a specific variety everything deep dive. So let's try new things together, mix it up, and have a glorious day.